I want to quickly talk to you about Crosslink Business Tax Preparer software. This is important, folks, because for the last 11 months, we have investigated 82 professional tax preparation and research tools, culminating in the review of hundreds of features, pricing tiers, databases, and customer support models. Whenever we needed some clarifications or answers to specific thematics, we reached out to Crosslink representatives. So this Crosslink business software review is a part of a series that is a direct byproduct of our months long initiative. We have rated this software tool on six quintessential criteria. You have uh, accuracy, timely updates, value for cost, ease of use, customer support, and availability of forms. Enjoy. <music> Let's jump right into today's conversation. So folks, here is the agenda you have on the screen. I'll do a pre-see of the software, then we'll uh, talk about ergonomics, convenience, productivity, support, growth, pricing, and then we'll just recap the conversation. It's very important to understand that when you think about cross-link business, you want to think about professional tax software for high volume tax businesses. So this is important. They're not looking at just the uh, sort of retail practice here, you have to think about wholesale practice, high volume tax businesses. And you are using the software not only for uh, for individual returns, but also for business returns. For this particular, this particular Crosslink business, it's only for businesses. But Crosslink also has Crosslink 1040 desktop, Crosslink 1040 online that caters to, individ uh, to preparers who focus on individual returns. One thing I want to say here is that based on our analysis, Crosslink Business allows you to do a lot of things. You have a federal business solution, you have state business solution, you have a desktop so software application that is constantly being uh, updated. So they have uh, every tax season, they are constantly innovating. They have the latest tax law changes embedded. This is really good. We love the management dashboard. They also have a work in progress screen. And the work in progress screen allows you to see exactly what's really going on in terms of the filing. You're able to uh, to use their point of shoot, point and shoot error correction module to really correct all the errors, all the possible errors in your filing process. This is really good. And we love the fact that this is also a forms, a forms based input software, which is really, really easy. And they do have a no hold return transmission to the IRS via what they call a modernized EFOP. Now we have actually, uh, reviewed their modernized e-file it is indeed modernized it is indeed indeed a very uh, very sophisticated not just i'm not talking about the irs uh, modernized e-file but i'm talking about the conduit through which cross link business supplies the businesses to the irs they also have an electronic signature support this is really good if you have permissions based administration so when you think about cross link business you want to think about an all-in-one solution before I get into the actual ergonomics here, please check out this short video. I want to acquaint you with our methodology when it comes to business review, business uh, software review on this uh, on this show. Check this out. Let's jump right into ergonomics here, folks. So when we talk about ergonomics, we are focusing on user friendliness, okay? We're paying attention to the specifics of the software. And as I've said before, when it comes to uh, cross-link business software, the tax solution, you are looking at all federal and state tax, uh, tax returns that are included. We love the fact that they have unlimited 1065, unlimited 1120S, 1120C, and other and even 990 and one thing you need to pay attention to is that you have to remember that this is a desktop software program 
this is not a, a cloud-based program this is um, they will once you sign up once you buy the software they will send you a link you click on that link and you download the software on your desktop okay and we love the fact that this software the crosslink business software integrates very well with other crosslink modules to provide more features to help you run your practice okay and we love the user interface it's very easy to navigate it's very user friendly and it allows you to create a tax organizer for your business clients okay and we have actually reviewed the e-filing capability and tax research tools of crosslink business and we love the fact that when you use the tools appropriately they, they can help you save time for both you and your clients and you also have strong support options that ensure that you will never be at a loss for solving any issues that may come up while using the software okay so this is really good you have we love the fact that you have an intuitive user interface this is very user friendly the, it's very easy to navigate they have a quick access toolbar that you can customize really to suit the needs of uh, any practice depending on the clients that you have depending on the niche that you're in you can customize the dashboard and the dashboard gives you quick access to all related projects tasks and related client documents and users will also receive notifications when a return needs attention so this is really good we also love the tax organizer capability that is embedded in crosslink business the software has an e-filing capability so it offers complete e-filing for all supported forms and users can check their status easily viewing alerts and rejections okay and digital tax workflow is also available automating the, the entire tax preparation process so this is really good so you, you do have with the crosslink business you do have strong business options and you also have some tax research uh, tax research tools so this is really great I want to talk to you about convenience folks we are we are still having a conversation about cross-link business and I want to talk to you about the user experience so this is what we what this is what we call convenience how how friendly is the software but also what is the user experience how satisfactory is the experience of using crosslink business one thing we have found is that this is an excellent tax solution that offers a diversity of tools to help to help streamline your practice whether you, you have a small practice or an oligo oligo elements practice or a, a multi-member practice you will find the tools everything from um, k1 so we we have a, a broad form library okay you have a paperless option for organizing and collecting tax information and a constellation of tax analysis and planning tools all these things help you boost your user experience and crosslinks business client data tool and trial balance utility will also help you to save time okay so when you think about user experience with crosslink business i want you to think about a comprehensive form library so you have everything from uh, multi-states k1s and 5500 benefit plan returns which enables you when you really think about it to service a variety of clients and businesses you have the e-organizer this is really good you have the client data tool you have the tri balance utility and you have tax analysis and planning tools we did spend a lot of time on the tax analysis and planning tool you're able to access very sophisticated tax analysis and planning tools within crosslink crosslink business and those tools enable you to have customized plans for each client's future liability based on current and future state and federal tax rate the cool thing here is that you can customize that it really depends on the level of uh, the, le the level of sophistication you want to get into and it depends also on the needs of the client and we love the tri balance utility this is uh, a tool that helps you to develop a chart of a, a chart for ac accounts you can modify journal entries you can review trial balance reports and more okay and um, if you love to use the client data tool this is really good because it identifies information that is missing and it will automatically send requests to your clients or to you for the required information and documents the only thing is you need to set all this thing up they're not really that complicated as long as you talk to a crosslink business 
a customer service rep they will help you set everything everything up when you buy the software i want to talk to you now about productivity folks here we focus on workflow gains how can you use a cross-link business to boost productivity well one thing we love is that this is all this is not only a great value in professional tax software it also has many useful features so, such as a point and shoot error correction and permissions based administration so those two among others will save you time when preparing return and when we talk about time saved we're talking about efficiency we're talking about effectiveness and we are talking about productivity boost right and we love the fact that uh, with a crosslink business you can streamline the process in terms of federal business solution state business solution you have a desktop software application that not only is uh, continually updated especially during tax season if there is a, a last minute law what we we have seen is that crosslink will automatically push all the updates into all the programs so it doesn't matter whether you have a, whether this is a desktop or a cloud-based software you will be your software will be updated the the management dashboard is kind of cool it helps this is really the epicenter of productivity boost when you have crosslink business you're able you're able to use the management dashboard to control not only the work you're working on but all the work that all your team members are working on especially if you want to have some kind of decentralized practice management process in other words every team member is not in the office but they are at home or they are you yourself you are elsewhere you are able to manage everything in a decentralized manner and this is very powerful you, you have a work in progress screen that tells you where you are where you are at right now which stage you are currently are in the in the client's tax filing process you have the point of shoot error correction that i spoke about earlier this is a forms based input process and you have no hold return transmission to the IRS via the modernized e-file, the MEF, the MEF. You have electronic signature support. And we love the fact that Crosslink Business does support permissions-based administration. And last but not the least, in terms of productivity, in terms of boosting the workflow gains, in terms of boosting the productivity, you can use the scan and store feature to actually control a lot, to automate also a lot of things that relate to the scanning and storage and storage of client documents i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere welcome back folks to another section of the awesome sweetie kiwi show we are still having a conversation about cross-link business and uh, I want to talk to you now about support so when we talk about cross-link not just cross-link business when we talk about cross-link 1040 cross-link the 1040 online cross-link corporate plus 1040 when we talk about all those modules everything happens through the tax resource center when it comes to client support okay and this is where you can you can see your level of preparation for tax season all the support that you need from software and banking setup to training and marketing tasks you are getting all the help that you need in the tax resource center so crosslink does have a crosslink banking center to make sure that you are having the resources that you need to boost revenue in terms of bank products and other ancillary products okay and they also have product and training videos so crosslink does have a youtube channel we have actually said this on on other shows but they have a great youtube channel a little uh, a little uh, it, it has been a little inactive lately but if you ask the question if you post a comment underneath any video on that youtube channel somebody will get back to you so this is really good and you also have access to the crosslink knowledge base so this is uh, a database a repository that you can reach on the website and you can ask any questions you can inquire about any anything that you're interested in whether it is whether it is uh, associated with the software that you just bought or anything else and you can also contact crosslink you can con you have uh, the contact us page on the website but also they are available on social media okay so you can contact crosslink on uh, facebook on twitter on instagram 
and LinkedIn. So my point here is that there is a diversity of conduits through which you can reach customer support. You can email them. You can uh, you can do live chat. You can call them. One thing I would just want to mention here is that the lines are a little busy during tax season. So if you call between uh, January and uh, April, just expect to have a little delay on the lines. But if you call afterwards, let's say from May through October, you should be fine. So from uh, January through uh, April, just expect to be on the on the phone for five minutes to ten minutes before somebody talks to you. Let me talk to you now about growth, folks. We are still having a conversation about cross-link business, and I'm just uh, acquainting you with the processes in place, with the tools in place to make sure that you know how to use cross-link business, where you to buy this software. And uh, when it comes to growth, one thing we love with Crosslink is that they have a dedicated department that handles bank products. They even have a, a specific spot on their website that is entitled revenue. So basically they are giving you, they are, they are sharing with you a few ways you can earn extra revenue, not just to boost your business during tax season, but also beyond. And this is important for us because as you know, on this show, we care about sustainability of uh, your practice, not just seasonality and cyclicality. In other words, we don't want you to make money only during January and April. We want you to make money after January and April. In other words, during the off season. With Crosslink business and Crosslink in general, you can make money through that. You can uh, raise revenue through e-file revenue. So you can charge an, an e-file fee for both bank products and non-bank product returns. You have the remote signature, so you basically, your clients can sign their documents anywhere and anytime via an, um, an electronic signature, and you have the ability to charge for that convenience. You have the ERO add-on fee, okay? You also have the check printing. So customers of Santa Barbara P T uh, TPG, one of uh, Crosslink's um, partners, if you will, they have the opportunity to earn revenue for each non-fast cash advance disbursement check. You also have the protection plus, and this is where you can actually, uh, this is, uh, you can ex expand really your service offerings and make extra revenue while providing your taxpayers with the peace of mind of low cost tax return audit assistance. When it comes, if you're interested in bank products, the cool thing here is that Crosslink has a partner with uh, a couple of financial institutions. So you have Crosslink you have a TPG, rather. You have, you have a Santa Barbara TPG. You have a refund advantage. Re, you have a refundo or refundo. And then you have Republic Banks. So those are those are institutions that are working with uh, Crosslink and other taxpayer, uh, tax, uh, tax preparer software providers to make sure that you are raising as much revenue for your practice as possible. Let's talk about pricing, folks. And I want you to see right now on the screen, here is a pricing for Crosslink business. So you have two options. You have the unlimited options where you just shell out about a thousand bucks and you have, uh, this is, so you basically have access to everything. But for this, you need to have Crosslink 1040 unlimited. So you need to buy Crosslink unlimited to be able to have the option unlimited, the Crosslink business unlimited. So they are forcing you to buy two software tools okay now for the for the second option this is where you can choose to buy uh, the, the standard options okay so you have a uh, discounted pricing this is a little bit of like a ppr paper return but you have to see whether it works for you and uh, i just want to quickly show you also the price tiers for the crosslinks other products so you have crosslink 1040 desktop this will cost you $1,495, $1,495. This is for option one, the unlimited option. And then you have the option two, you have paper return, the PPR option that will cost you $300. And then you have the Crosslink business paper return available. So what they, what Crosslink is trying to sell here is they're trying to sell you both the Crosslink business and the Crosslink 1040 desktop. Okay, some software providers such as uh, Drake or Intuit, they sort of have an all-in-one approach, but Crosslink is trying to, I would say, um, 
split the market. They're trying to tier the market. Is it a good business strategy? We think so because so far it has been working fine for them. So I just want to share with you also that on the third screenshot here, Crosslink Online, which is the online version of the Crosslink 1040 desktop. And here the price is kind of similar. As you can see, you have option one, we have uh, 1495. This is for the unlimited version. And option two, we have uh, 300. This is the paper return. So this is the PPR version. One thing I want to say in general here is that if you want to, if you want to save on your uh, on your purchase when uh, going with the uh, Crosslink, you first want to go with uh, you want to buy the software first, and then you want to call customer service. You can do it that way, or you can just call them first. You want to call them first and make sure that you can negotiate. You can negotiate very well with uh, the sales rep because their goal is to is to onboard clients, right? So you want to do that, and you want to do it before tax season starts. Do it around um, between. Uh, you want to do it during the off season. They have more time. They can bargain. You can haggle over all the details you want. But if you wait until tax season, they are busy and they're not very willing to uh, to negotiate during that during that time. This is just based on our experience. Okay, so here is the synopsis of today's conversation. Based on our analysis, this cross-link business tax preparer software is great for single, oligo, and multi-member practices as well as small practices. Our score, 8.5 over 10. And overall, we have ranked Crosslink number five in our top 10 tax preparer software tools, which is a video that, that came out a few days ago. If you're interested, please go watch that, that video. And um, we gave Crosslink our highest rating for customer support and innovation. Thank you so much for your attention. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.